Hey guys, I am going to start this vlog off talking a little bit about my store. So, um, I am super, super busy. Don't mind how I look. I know I look rough. My hair is super dirty. It needs to be washed. But I've been doing a lot of homework and I am going to get back to homework here in a little bit. But I needed to fulfill an order. So, there was an order put in for a cup. And I wanted to make sure to try to get it out as quickly as possible. So, um, I just finished customizing um, a customer's cup. So, this is actually what the cup looks like if you guys wanted to know. It is the Grande, I think it's just called a Grande Nurse Cup. And it's just the heart, an actual heart with a heartbeat through the middle. And then you can get it customized with your name on it. If you want to change up these colors, like if you want your name written in black or pink or green or purple whatever um that can be left in the note section when you place your order and this is the actual cup that is going out to a customer who just ordered hers so while i was checking out um doing like the posting and all that stuff through paypal seeing that i had like a little uh like notification bell thing and i just clicked on it and it was like hey this customer's um money was refunded so of course i wanted to know why it was refunded i reached out to the customer but i also sent a little message to paypal like hey um i was never notified if there was any complaints or any disputes and i just wanted to know what was going on if it was something on my end if it was something that could have been fixed and not like oh i want my money but simply like what was the problem is there something that i could fix is it was was it something that i did did she not even receive her packages because i'm not gonna lie i don't go back and look at every single tracking like i just don't have the time to make sure that the tracking says delivered 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 um i just make sure that it says shipped out and then once it's shipped out if there's any other problems i would hope you guys would contact me via email and we can kind of figure it out from there so um I just was like, oh my gosh, did she not receive it? Was it, did the labels get mixed up? Did she receive somebody else's package? Like, I didn't really know what was going on. So I just wanted to clarify what the problem was. And um, so she hadn't responded to the email. And, you know, of course, PayPal, they respond back super quickly. So they actually called me and was like, hey, there was a dispute on your account. We tried to reach out to you. Um, and let you know that there was a dispute uh, and I was like I never received an email or notification I don't know what's going on like what happened and so she was like well basically her cupped her cupped <laughs> they were like well basically her cup arrived broken it was shattered and uh, she sent us an email saying that she could send pictures um, could she get the cup replaced or could she get a refund and we emailed you and I was like what email did you use of course, the email that they use was not, it's one of my emails, but it was the incorrect email that I just log in through my PayPal, but all of my stuff should come to my main email that comes on my phone. And she was like, well, we see that you have a login email, but you have um, like a customer service email and we just use the email that is that you log on with and I was like well I never checked that email and can you guys please switch it and so she switched it so hopefully that problem doesn't happen again um and I guess I need to start checking the login email for anything that might happen um but I just felt so bad I was like oh my gosh I would be so frustrated because I love cups I have a billion cups I got Starbucks cups I got Walmart Target cups like I just I don't say I'm a cup collector but if I see a cute cup I'm like give me that and then especially if it's something that I can get customized with my name on it I want it and to have something delivered to you and to be shattered and it seems like the person that you ordered from is not communicating with you I know that has to be very frustrated and I feel so sorry on my behalf like that that was a miscommunication and I really wish um it could have been resolved earlier so i did reach out to her and say hey i am going to make you another cup it is going to be free of charge i'm going to ship it to you free of charge i don't care if she has her money back that is completely fine with me i just want her to have her cup and that is what i'm gonna do um so i'm getting ready to make her another cup and hopefully she reaches out to me and i can get her cup her new cup shipped off as quickly as possible and i feel horrible and i just want to give her a cup sent out really quickly and then i'm gonna throw some extra little goodies in there um so if 
this is just a little PSA. If you guys ever have any issues with any of your purchases with me um, and you communicate with PayPal and it is not an email immediately, contact me at my email that I leave below in the or in the description box. So that way we can get your problem resolved as quickly as possible. I have gotten pictures of girls wearing my shirts and my tees and holding up their canvas bags and receiving their stethoscope pins. And I just want you guys to completely be 100% happy with the things that you purchased for me. If you guys have not checked out my store, make sure to do that ASAP. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. <laughs>
I never remember which one she's talking about. I know it's not the white one. So I got this black one and she's like, the elf sponge is better than a beauty blender. And I was like, uh, honey, let me check it out because that beauty blender is hella expensive. But honestly, I haven't found anything that is better than a beauty blender. So, oh, this is small. I hope it gets bigger. It's very rubbery. I don't know. Oh, it says on point concealing and blending sponge, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't really like how it feels. Um, and then these, let's open these. These are white, so I know these won't last long. <laughs> but this one looks like a beauty blender. Oh, I would not feel like a beauty blender though. Like, just like it. Of course, I use my beauty blender today, so it's starting to shrink because it's drying up. But, yeah. I'm just touching it. It's already dirty. Ciao. We'll see. And then it comes with, like, a smaller one and then a mini one. So, I never use these. My fingers are too fat. It's like, they serve me no purpose. But, yeah. That is all I got. I got some hair products, but I won't share those with you guys because... I just pick up hair products randomly all the time. Maybe I'll do like a current favorites video one of these days when I have time. Cannot guarantee it will be soon, but maybe I'll do that for you guys and kind of show you what I've been loving as far as hair and then what I've been loving as far as makeup. Just because right now I really haven't even been wearing any makeup, but I was definitely, definitely needing a new foundation so i ordered that I, I didn't need it but i wanted it and like i said ordering things make me feel better when things are not going good in my life so i need to stop doing that and start stacking up my paper as far as my savings account like my savings account needs to be on point i had a goal this year definitely not gonna meet that goal so, so we're gonna set a by the end of the year goal and then we're gonna set a six month goal we're gonna start breaking our goals up into like months and yeah that's what we're gonna do so i'm going to go and start doing some homework and i'm gonna bring you guys with me so come on let's do homework let's go i ordered the makeup forever matte velvet skin and the clinique beyond perfecting foundation plus concealer that is my favorite and what i'll probably wear when i start clinicals um and then I've heard some really good reviews on the Bobbi Brown Primer Plus Mattifier. I am an oily beast at all times, so I wanted to try that out. But do y'all see how expensive that is? If it is not good, it's going back. So today is currently the 12th. So as you see, I don't work those days. And then um, I'm also off Sunday, but Sunday I have a lot of stuff that's due. So the things that have check marks next to them, I've already done. However, my module two and module three cultural competence teaching, I need to do three responses. So I'm going to start that right now. Module three discussion board one, I need to start that tonight, finish it tomorrow, and then start this uh, family assessment paper that I have not started and it has to be at least 10 pages, so definitely need to start it. <laughs> um, at least start that tomorrow, which is the 13th. So finish my discussion board, start my paper on the 13th, um, 14th. I work on the 15th. Um, already did that midterm. Um, I just haven't got my grade back, but I can most likely finish my paper by the 16th. Um, and then if I have any questions, I can email my professor. Uh, da, 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 da. I also have a Bates visual guide video that I need to do. And I need to make sure all of that is done first. So that's what I'm doing right now. That is what I'm focused on. And yeah, other than that, I think I am pretty, pretty on point for the time being. Discussion board, uh, module three, discussion board one zero people have posted so if it's due on sunday everyone needs to post rather quickly so that way i can do my responses so we'll see how that goes and this is what i'm gonna start responding to now and 52 people have already done that i'm not gonna click in it because i don't want you guys to see other people's names so i'm gonna keep their privacy private and start doing that so um, for this assignment, I need my cultural competence book. I have to respond to three different uh, how to be like culturally competent 
discussions. I actually chose the Mexican heritage because I've taken care of a lot of Mexican um, families. I've taken care of illegal immigrants, um, Mexican American born citizens, um, people who were immigrants and then got their citizenship. Like that's really the main culture that I took care of, especially when I lived in San Antonio. So I knew a lot about it. It wasn't very hard for me to find information on it. So that's what I chose. And we had to choose a culture that's different from our own. And I can't lie and be like, I'm not black because my profile picture is on my like blackboard thing. So, um, so yeah, I chose Mexican and then I'm going to respond to German because I lived in Germany. Uh, Haitian, because she only has one other person that responded to her. And then Jewish, because nobody responded to hers. Um, I like to choose the discussions that a lot of people haven't responded to. So that way, it's not like we're all just repeating the same thing. Like one girl on here, um, she has Thai. And there's already been eight responses to hers. So... To keep it like fair, there's Italian, they have seven responses. So just to kind of keep it even and no one feels like they're being left out, I like to respond to the ones who no one's responded to. Unless it's just full of a lot of stuff that I disagree with. And um, I don't also, I also don't want to be the person who like tears somebody's assignment apart. You know what I'm saying? And be like, this is wrong, this is wrong. If I was you, I would have done this. If I was you, I would have corrected this. I don't like to do that either. So, um, if, if the post is going to be like that, I usually don't respond to their post because I'm like, I'm not trying to get nobody a bad grade because I don't want anyone to give me a bad grade. But um, yeah, I try to avoid those posts as well. Um, but if there is something that I can suggest like, hey, you forgot to just add in this one little thing and then they can go back in, add it. And then before our due date, then I'll do that. But I don't like to tear people's stuff apart. So yeah, that's pretty much going to be my night. It's already 12 o'clock. I have to be up really, really early. I think I have to be up by 8. So I'm only going to do homework until 2. And then I'm going to get in the bed. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I will definitely start vlogging a lot more now that I am feeling better. And um, bring you guys, continue to bring you guys along this journey. Thank you so much for Follow me around this far. And yeah, love all of you, hun. Thank you so much. If you want to join G Nation, hit the subscribe button below. It is absolutely free. And I appreciate it if you become a hun. Like, I love all my huns. So until the next video, I'll talk to all of you guys later. Love you. Bye.